Okay, continuing on the red slides, we're looking at that these uh, discrete probability distribution word problems. Now, this is one of the uh, problems where Alex has kind of gone over the top with this. They tell you some long story here. They give us a formula. Man, they make this seem intimidating. Now, let me tell you, first of all, that this is not as bad as it looks. And my advice to you here is uh, on this one, don't read it, okay? Don't read it. Keep in mind that what we're dealing with here is a probability distribution, okay? It's basically the same thing as we We've looked at before. So let's look at our notes here. We'll realize that there are two rules. First of all, your probabilities must total 1, and that each of your probabilities has to be a fraction between 0 and 1. So let's go back and look at what we're talking about here. Now, in order to come up with your values of x that go in this column, what we do is we simply go back up here, and I just start across this, and I say, okay, what's the first thing you see here? And you say, hey, I see a negative 1. Quick, write that down. Put a negative 1 right here. Okay, we say, okay, what else you got? You look across here and you say, oh, there's another negative one. Yeah, but that's the same thing as we already had. So keep going. What else do you see? Well, there's a negative three. Okay, quick, write that down. Negative three. Okay, what else you got? Negative one. Already got it. Negative three. Got it. In fact, we got everything. In fact, there's only these two. So the values up here that are different, all the values that are different up here go here. Okay? Now, what we're going to do then is to count these, and we see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of these all together. Let's go back and look at our negative ones. How many of those do we have? Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so we have 6 of those out of the total of 8. So our fraction is 6 out of 8, which we can reduce to 3 out of 4. So let's reduce that fraction to 3 fourths. Let's move on now to the negative 3. We'll go up here and count them. 1, 2. So there are two of those out of the total, which is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so this is going to be 2 out of 8, which we could write as a fraction 2 out of 8, but that of course reduces to 1 out of 4. And our probability distribution is complete because notice now that our probabilities add up to 1, these numbers here total 1, and each of these numbers is between 0 and 1. Each of these are fractions. And so these are the probability distribution word problems. And we see that that is correct.